Hello, hello and welcome to another tutorial with me for Dawn BB Creations and today I'm going to show you how I'm using Dawn's fabric sets to make cute little fabric bowls. And um, these two designs, like uh, the Holly and the um, Poinsettia, has already been on Create and Craft TV and has launched but Dawn has got a really, really nice new design as well, which is this one and there is also a um, hummingbird and I'm going to demonstrate how it works. So each panel has got seven bowls printed upon in different sizes and I'm quickly going to open up one package to show you what the panel looks like. So this is what the panel with the hummingbirds and the flowers, which is Dawn's latest design, is looking like. And as you can see, you have three big bowls and then um, one medium-sized and three small bowls. No, actually two medium-sized. This one and this one and then two small ones so this panel makes you seven um if you use some backing fabric which of course dawn sells as well the panels by the way are 15 quid each and available at birmingham nec this weekend as well um, dawn is demonstrating i i will be there and demonstrating and i'm going to show you how you use these so it comes also with the padding needed and it also comes with detailed instructions and this is what the finished bowl will look like really cute and everything is in the bag that you need it's 15 pounds and uh, we have lovely designs here and um, i'm going to use this fa backing fabric because i think this goes nicely with the color scheme of this panel so um, i'm going to go ahead and show you how to make one of these bowls so this is what i've done now so i've cut out two of the large panels this is the hummingbird and these are the roses and i'm going to use this as my backing uh, fabric um to show you because that makes the cups reversible um and the baskets reversible i've also cut the batting with it um you can if you like trace around and make your own template which i have done for the big flowers and then i also did the medium size here same this procedure so the batting is already on and um than my backing fabric. You could, of course, use, uh, because Dawn has a large selection of backing fabrics um, that go nicely with these designs color-wise, um, just do a plain reverse side and then um, make more cups from your panel. So these are available at Dawn's stall and on Dawn's website. You can also send Dawn a, a pri private message or an email on Facebook to order them. They are 15 quid really really nice designs fabulous christmas gift very suitable even for beginners and i'm going to take you to my sewing machine now and show you how to put these together so these are my two pre-cut pieces and this is the um, one with the wadding and this is um, the backing and the first thing you need to do is you are going to take put the right sides together and then just line it up so you line up this corner with this and you just sew it shut with a straight stitch. Stitch width is two and a half, so 2.5. And you just take a quarter of an inch seam allowance and you just sew straight through it. Make sure you secure the ends um, to be sure to um, strengthen the corners. So I'm back stitching. And I put my machine on low, slow so you can see what I'm doing. So a quarter of an inch. And I'm going all the way down to my corner here. And then secure it with the back stitch as well. So this is shut. And I'll take it out. And where are my scissors? Here they are. So this is what you got. And you're going to do this on all five. Oopsie, that's just stitch that in. Okay, so this is what it's going to do. It starts giving you this shape. So I'm quickly going to do all five and get back to you. So I've done this and this is what you get. So this is basically um, the first fabric uh, um, already, like the first part of the bowl shaped. And I'm quickly going to do the same with um, 
the one with the wadding on um, is just a bit thicker because you're sewing through two layers and I leave these pins in place to make sure that my wadding doesn't slip and all I'm going to do is again I'm going to put the right sides together and show uh, and sew this bit shut you know from this corner to this bottom sew it shut and then I have two of these cups so this was really quick so I've sewn all these edges shut and now I have these two bowls that oops there's still a needle in here that are going to fit into each other like so and in order to fuse these together what I need to do is I need to put the right sides together so I'm going to turn this inside out and then just align it and I'm going to use needles make sure you really meet, meet, make sure that you really meet the corners here to have a really perfect alignment and then just um sew the edges shut so I'm going to quickly pin this in place and I get back to you I've pinned right sides together making sure that my corners line up beautifully with the back side and I'm just going to sew this shut and on one petal uh, I'm going to leave a bit open so I will be able to turn it over and then um, do the rest so I'm just going to start sewing anywhere really and uh, again I'm going to sew with you can't really see from this angle so there because this is going to cover it so I'm just going to pop this on oops onto my sewing machine Quarter, see, a quarter inch seam allowance is already included in the pattern so you just can um, sew with a quarter of an inch uh, around the edges and this is what I'm going to do. And I'm taking it slow to make sure that I get a nice round curve. And I'll get back to you when I'm finished. So this is what the current state of affairs look like so here is my gap to um, turn it over but before I'm gonna turn the inside out I'm going to um, gently cut into my seam allowance to allow um, when you turn it upside down to allow the shape to be really nice and rounded so it's important that we do some a, a bit of cutting make sure when you're cutting it that you really do not cut into your stitches just a bit close to it but like this the fabric will really really lay itself nicely around the corners and the curve is going to be really nice in shape so this is what you want to do and I'm just quickly going to finish this and then we're going to turn it over and then all that we need to do is once it's turned inside out we press um, the edge and then fold the seam, uh, seam allowance inwards here and um, stitch it shut by hand and then just do one nice seam around it so this is what it looks uh, like before it's going to be ironed so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to use my little you know dawn sells these little um, steam irons um for 22.90 uh and they're really great and i'm going to use that and just quickly iron uh, my seams all nice and flat and um give the shape to the bowl and then i'm going to just stitch around my edge here and then my bowl is finished oh actually this is where i turned inside out so this is going to be hand stitched so i'm quickly going to close this up but i'm going to close this up only after i've ironed it so let me just get to my ironing board and just do that um, and the travel iron is perfect for it because it reaches in all these tiny little gaps and then um, this is your beautiful bowl that you can use inside as well as outside so you can use it this way so the flowers are outside or this way and the hummingbird is uh, outside so this is really great and i think it's a perfect um, little kit for uh, makes a great christmas present but also is a quick make it takes you like maybe half an hour to make a bowl and um, once you start making them you get the hang of it you get faster and faster and yeah you can fill them with little like this is a really nice gift if you make some cookies yourself and then um, wrap it up in a nice foil so uh, that people can see through and you have this little bowl sitting there filled with your homemade cookies it's also really nice um, for uh, for for serving breakfast just put the roll in it and um, a little jar of uh, jam or something um, the possibilities are endless, very decorative, very easy to make, beautiful fabric that Dawn designed there. I really like the hummingbird, look at the detail. And um, yeah, so let me just quickly get to my ironing board and then finish it off. This is my bowl sewn shut and um, I've pressed the edges and I'm now going to just stitch around. Um, I'm going to look if I can, oh, maybe I'm going to use the white thread, but at this point it really looks nice if you take a different color. 
uh, like I'm gonna look in my stash if I've got like something like this uh, pinkish color if I don't I'm gonna stick with white and then just sew around the edges to finish it off and look how beautiful this little um, basket is I am very easy and simple to make and I'm really I really enjoyed the process of making it and yeah Great, it can be used inside and out, so you can use it both ways. You could, of course, quilt before you stitch it together, because there is padding in it. Um, I didn't quilt this one now uh, for time reasons, but this is really, look how pretty it is. Looks great, doesn't it? It's almost finished. Let me just look for the thread, and then I will just quickly sew around it, and then my bone is finished. Okay, the only one that is anywhere near is this one. And I don't like it because it's too orange. It doesn't match it and it also doesn't match this side. So I'm going to stick with white then. Never mind. So just again, straight stitch, 2.5 width. And I'm um, just going to stitch around my edge, which I have ironed as flat as possible and into place. So here we go. Back stitch it. So this is going to be really boring for you because I'm all I'm going to do is so straight in a circle. So let me just finish this and I'll get back to you. So I've sewn around the edge and this is what it looks like when it's finished. I've also also made the larger size already so you can see them. This is the outside. This is the same fabric that I've used. They're really beautiful. They are nesting and the sets are available on Dawn's website. <clears throat> Pardon me. And you can order them by sending Dawn a private message on Facebook or via her website. And um, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. The button is in the right corner there. You can also, I'm going to add in the description box of this um, tutorial. I'm going to add the link to my crafting group. And you can follow me on my Facebook fan page. The link will also be there and thanks for watching and I hope you really enjoyed it. It was great fun making these and um, as you see this is really really easy. Suitable for beginners, even children. Not too small but like 14-15 years old. They could also do this and make a great gift. Not expensive and beautiful. Thanks for watching and have a nice time.